Hello, welcome to another lecture. So in this lecture, we are going to be talking about sketch planes, what they are and how to make one. So to start, let's start a new, click on new part. Okay. So now in order for you to draw any sketch, in order for you to draw any sketch, you always need a plane to draw your sketch on. And these are your sketch planes over here. We have the front plane, the top plane, and the right plane. Those are the three main planes SolidWorks gave you. So you can select your front plane over here and click sketch to draw your, to start your sketch. Or let's say if I want to start a sketch and I click on this sketch. Now, as you can see, SolidWorks is giving me, telling me, please select the plane on which to create the sketch for for the entity so now I can either select the front plane the top plane or the right plane on this screen and to go into the sketch mode or we can also click on click on this drop down and we also see the same option in there so I will select the front plane and now I'm in the sketch mode and how you can tell you in the sketch mode is you will see an exit sketch sign up here and also done sketch and exit sketch over here and you'll see this red gizmo here so that is how you know you're in the sketch mode and once we are in our sketch mode we can just start drawing something and that is how you select the plane to sketch on so i'm going to exit out of that sketch without saving it so now that is your sketch sketch plane and how you draw on the sketch. So SolidWorks also give you the option to create a plane, a sketch plane. So to create another plane, in addition to these planes, we'll go into the features and we'll select this reference geometry and we'll select planes. So now it's asking for the reference plane to, the first reference plane to constrain the plane on. Cause you have to tell it where that plane, where you want to create that plane. So let's say we select our, we'll click on this drop down and we'll select our front plane. So now we're telling, telling SolidWorks by default, SolidWorks is going to make the plane, um, parallel to the first plane you select. So now we are telling SolidWorks this plane is 1.1 distance from the front front plane. So as you can see, we can increase this number and decrease this number and that plane goes back and forth. And another thing we can do is we can offset it to the other side. And as we increase and decrease the number, the plane goes back and forth. And another thing we can do is we can add as many planes as we want. So let's say we want six plane 1.5 apart from each other. We can select that and we click OK. So that is how you add planes. And another way you can add plane is by creating a sketch. So let's say I go on my front plane, go to sketch mode, sketch. And let's say I just draw a midpoint line, something like this on this front plane. And I will exit that plane, right? So I have that plane, I have that sketch on the front plane. So I can go back, make another plane. And my plane, again, I'll select my reference plane, which is my front plane. So I'm telling SolidWorks is putting it parallel. But what I want to do is I want to do a perpendicular plane. So I want to see, as you can see, the yellow thing is showing that that is my first constraint. I want this new plane to be perpendicular to the front plane and I have to select the second reference. So now I'll select that line. So now as you can see, SolidWorks has created a plane that is perpendicular to that line. And now if I click OK, we have our new plane, right? Perpendicular to the front plane. And another thing is I can so draw another plane. So we'll go to reference geometry plane. And I'll do the same thing on uh, front plane. And I want a perpendicular. And I'm so going to select my second reference, which is that line. And this time I want it angled. So I can change the angle on that plane. As you can see, if I flip it, it goes back in the other direction. And you can change the angle 
on the plane. So that is how you add an angle plane. And we click OK. And the last example we're going to cover is the mid plane. So now I have these two planes here. And let's say I want to draw a new plane in between in between these two planes. So we can go back to the feature tab, reference geometry plane. And um, it seems like my plane was selected prior to let me just exit out and make sure I'm not selecting anything. Then I'll go back into reference geometry plane. So I want to, so I want to put a plane between these two planes. So I'll select this plane as my first plane. And let me just make this number zero for now. Oh, so even with, even without doing that, I can select the mid plane, right? So now it's asking me for my second reference. I'll select this plane. And now as you can see, there's a new plane between click. Okay. And that is the plane feature in SOLIDWORKS, how you sketch on a plane and how you make new planes. Thank you and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.